Hey everybody, my name is Oxfady. Today we are playing Skyrim, episode I think 11. And uh, where we left off, we were listening to Ezra talk about the war wall. So uh, let's go. Baldur's defeat is the centerpiece. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord talks, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alden? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? No, I've never heard of anything like that. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? The Greybeards have a... The Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. I better go see what Arn Arngar knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came <sighs> We'll look Sorry, around Skyrim Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. What is it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Elfin? You might learn something from our own history. Our dude, Yasmir looks so cool. We're, as, we're not as power. Of course. I ain't dealing with the dragon right now. I'm not too tired for that.
high above, voice within. Sky, guard you. I need to learn the shell used to defeat Aldolin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Who I stand with is my business. I have nothing to hide. The blades help me find out about it. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? <sighs> the Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it, but I am not the one to speak of it to you. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Algolan? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthenax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. How do I get up? How do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Ah, I see. Let's go. Of this entire set, I think the gloves are the coolest. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm really tired. I will show you how to open the way. Final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well.
clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Lydian, uh, vigilance, don't get lost in the storm. Look, fuck Look, fuck I think Lydia got lost. Oh, there she is. Restoration. Cool. Yeah, that looks better. You guys, me are so cool. I have something cool I want to show you guys real quick. Oh, hey, Parthenax. Most of you probably already know what's up here. Hold on, Parthenax, I'm trying to do something.
Here it is. The not the notched pickaxe. You know, the guy who made um the guy that made uh Minecraft, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I want to slay the dragon. Slay him, I shall. Uh, Drem Yolok, greetings, Wundunik. I, I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. You go to it. Fire breath. Understand fire as the dove do. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. All right, bye. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I come for Dragonrend? Alduin Comate okay. Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. Came for Dragon Rand. But I do not yeah. know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Liar. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, 
Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? That's not your business. I need to stop Aldolin. I like this word. I don't want to end it. I don't want it to end. I need to stop Aldolin. That's not your Need. business. If you wish me to answer your question, you must answer mine. I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin. Zembach. The elder brother. Gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? I like this word. I don't want it to end. The prophecy says that the only dra that only the Dragonborn can stop him. Mm, true, but Kostid prophecy tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. Do you have no better reason for acting than <laughs> destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? I didn't come here to be doubt with you. What better reason to act than to fulfill my destiny? I don't love your destiny, but I will stop Alduin. And so, perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, who can say? Desmot Mahus, even to the dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rachmul. And he is no fool, ni me. Rinik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? No dragons like mountains, right? I never thought about it. You said you were going to answer my question. I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Ren shout, right? Hmm. Yes and no, Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll? What's that? Mm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. 
It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahualan. They are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. Are you saying the ancient Nords sent all the one forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. <laughs> How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, Esbern and or and Arngar might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. All right, bye. Drem your look. Greetings. I didn't want to talk to you. Whoa. I'll dominate my power to the to those old guys. I dominate my power. Can I? I just want to see if I can tell. No. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. How are we gonna live? No living for us. Uh. Hope y'all enjoyed, and uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye, and have a beautiful night.